On July 24, 1936, Dan Inosanto was born in Stockton, California. He is the son of two immigrants from the Philippines who left the Philippines after receiving advanced degrees and came to the U.S. in search of better opportunities for their family. His parents instilled in Inosanto a strong work ethic and a love of learning that would benefit him greatly throughout his life. When Inosanto was still a young boy, he developed an interest in martial arts. He was completely enthralled by the Vogue at the time for martial arts films. When Dan Inosanto was 11 years old, his uncle taught him traditional Okinawan karate and later also judo and jujutsu. This was the start of Dan Inosanto's martial arts training. He quickly expanded his skill set to include boxing, wrestling, and karate. Inosanto's life dramatically changed in the 1960s when he met Bruce Lee. Hollywood actors like Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, and others are said to have received martial arts instruction from Inosanto. At that time, Lee was a rising martial arts star who was also looking for apprentices to help him create his own special fighting style. Inosanto was one of Lee's original students, and the two quickly became good friends and started working together. Bruce Lee was instructed by Inosanto in the Filipino martial arts of Cali and Nunchako, while Inosanto was instructed by Bruce Lee in his particular style of fighting. Inosanto and Lee collaborated to create the new martial arts training methodology known as Jeet Kune Do. The system, which incorporated numerous different martial arts styles and techniques, placed an emphasis on flexibility, adaptability, and practicality. Inosanto was Lee's training partner and assistant teacher, and the two men worked together for countless hours to hone their skills and create new training techniques. Sadly, Lee passed away in 1973 at the young age of 32. Inosanto stepped up his efforts to spread the word about martial arts and carry on Lee's legacy after his friend passed away. Inosanto took over as the main historian and spokesperson for Jeet Kune Do following the passing of Bruce Lee. In Marina del Rey, California, he established his own academy before setting out on a global teaching and training tour. Inosanto rose to prominence as one of the foremost authorities on Filipino martial arts over time. He studied a wide range of styles such as Kali, Eskrima, and Arnis and grew to have a profound respect for the rich cultural heritage of his parents' country of origin. Inosanto's devotion to Filipino martial arts helped the style become well-known throughout the world, and he motivated a great number of students to learn more about the art and its background. Inosanto was a successful actor and stuntman in addition to his work as a martial artist and instructor. Over the years, he made several different film and television appearances such as in The Game of Death and Walker, Texas Ranger. Additionally, he worked behind the scenes as a fight choreographer and consultant, assisting in the planning and execution of challenging fight scenes that would enthrall viewers everywhere. Inosanto remained humble and devoted to his craft in spite of his many successes. Long after he turned 80, he kept practicing and instructing and he is credited with inspiring countless martial artists to follow their own aspirations. In today's martial arts community, Inosanto is revered as a living legend. His contributions to the growth of martial arts will be remembered for generations to come and his legacy lives on through the countless pupils and followers he taught over the years. Please support this channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing so we can make more videos about Filipinos and the Philippines.